All right, Matthew, I know you just finished practice. You're preparing for a new season, and that's great. Yep. The last time I talked to you was before the Super Bowl, and I really haven't seen you since then. Yeah. So I wanted to do something special just for you where we relive the Super Bowl in our interview, okay? Perfect. So I hope Sounds you like the good setup. To me. I love it. <laughs> I'll take the confetti all day. Take it. This is perfect. <laughs> wow. You had some sweet memories, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> some good family memories for sure. Oh, good. We're going to get into those too. Oh, yeah. I was hoping you'd bring the twins, but I understand <laughs> they, they might have to be in school or something. That is right. <laughs> Okay, Matthew, uh, the first thing that I wanted to do is since we're reliving the moment, we've got the confetti here, but we don't have the images. Yes. But guess what? I've got an iPad of video for you to watch. So if you could just press play on that, that'd be Yo, great. That was the best part of my night, to be honest with you. Really, that's all my kids wanted to do. They, were, they knew that there was going to be confetti if we won, so I was just excited to play with them in it. Uh, that's Hunty having a good time. She turned four yesterday, so she's, she? yeah. There's a great picture, actually, of her and Andrew Whitworth that everybody thought was Wits little girl, and uh, it was so fun. It was a, it was honestly so many great people, family event. Um, at the at the uh, at the end, it was it was so fun. My girls were having a blast. They don't really grasp the whole uh, you know meaning of what they're doing right there, but uh, they were they were having a good time. That was gonna be my next question. Like, do they understand that Daddy is a Super Bowl champion, or even what that means? How do you explain it to them? So they know those words exist. Okay. That, Daddy won the Super Bowl. They said it to me all the time, but um, they don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. um, they think it's fun. They know that the reason I'm gone the majority of the time is because I'm playing football. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess they kind of know what it means, but uh, I don't think they understand, you know, just the level of um, what the NFL is and what our sport is. Do they now expect this much confetti at their birthdays because yeah, this I was mean, your celebration? So. <laughs> that's true. I'm going to have to uh, <laughs> right. double check and make sure I show up with a, a bag full of it. That's, right. that's for sure. Now, I know you're, you're always focusing forward, but I do want to take some time to just reflect as we go into this season. I mean, it's your 14th year in the NFL, and one of the things that you really wanted to knock off was this Super Bowl victory. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time that you even win a playoff game, and you walk away with the Lombardi Trophy. So what are the moments that stick out to you? How will you relive this? <laughs> oh, man. Um, you know, it's kind of in the quiet moments in the offseason, um, you know, when you're sitting there and... and uh, whether it's with old teammates or just Kelly or somebody and just thinking back on some of the, honestly, great times. There's mm -hmm. no question, you know, touchdowns and all those great moments where you win, but some of the tough times too where we lost, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the month of November comes to mind as a tough month for myself, our team, um, and just some of the conversations that I had with Sean or teammates on our team, moments I've had um, that, I'll never forget that really helped, I think, propel us to where we ended up going. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the playoff run was a, an amazing high for our team. You know, we just kept riding the wave and, and playing great football. So that was an amazing time. And obviously, this, <laughs> this night winning the Super Bowl was, uh, was a really cool experience. Well, you keep pointing to it, so go ahead. Take one yeah, of those. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. We, we hit some pictures in there yeah, for Yeah, you. yeah, this is a good one This here. is like your, your Super Bowl picture book, OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you walk me through each moment as you look at them? Like, um, what are the feelings that it brings to mind? Yeah, I mean, honestly, before this play, when I stepped to the line of scrimmage, I already knew when Sean in my ear is starting to tell me what he wants to do with the receivers and switch them. I already know what the play we're going to call and what we're doing. When I stepped in the line of scrimmage and saw what defense they were in, I was like, we're going to get this thing done right here. Um, a lot of trust in, in number 10 for sure. And uh, up on that stage was a really, really fun time. I imagine we're waving it probably my family, probably Sean laughing at Hunty, because he always <laughs> is, and we all are. So, um, but Let's it was a, it was a cool that relationship, night. though, because it's like a little bit of a power couple situation, I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> but you two coming together and re and remaking this offense that leads to a Super Bowl championship, I mean, that relationship had to be strong. Yeah, big time. And, you know, when I was talking about kind of some of the tougher times that we went through as yeah. a team, we were able to lean on each other and uh, you know we say hey it's a lot but it's not too much you know it's it's not too much for either one of us we got to go out there and lead these guys do what we're supposed to do and just it's quarterback and a head coach of a football team it's you know two of the more unique um, you know positions on the team that receive a lot of credit a lot of blame a lot of pressure all these things and so being able to have somebody that um, you know you know and trust and and uh, believe in and all that kind of stuff is is a huge thing um, I know for me as a quarterback to have that in a head coach, and I'm, you know, I think it's, um, you know, vice versa for him as well. Right. There's one picture I really hit. Yeah. 
because I'm not leaving my girl out. That's what's, oh, yeah. that's what's not going to happen, okay? <laughs> We're going to talk about Kelly because <laughs> she's the real MVP. Yes, no <laughs> question. Such a special time. Just a lot of, you know, this one kind of brings it into, you know, not just last season, but just so many years of her being by my side and helping me through some lean years in, in Detroit and then obviously, um, you know, supporting me all the way through last season, through the playoffs and everything, and being able to celebrate that with her was was really cool. Mm -hmm. Have you watched any of the film back? Have you watched the game? Um, I haven't watched it front to back. Really? TV copy, um, not in its entirety. Um, I've seen some cuts and some excerpts from it. Um, and uh, it's, it's a, whenever it comes on, I'm kind of drawn to it, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't seen it front to back. TV copy, I probably need to do that at some point. Is there a reason why you haven't? Um, not really, to be honest with you. It's <laughs> okay. just like a, a whirlwind afterwards and, and um, never got around to it, I guess. But I remember the game. I remember what happened. So I've seen the TV, you know, the, the all 22 cut that we get. Seen some cool highlights and some mic'd up stuff. That was a cool thing. We were, a lot of guys were mic'd up for the game. So being able to get that, that content was really cool. Mm -hmm. What was the coolest moment afterwards, would you say? Some of the things you just said, it's been a whirlwind since then. Yeah. What are some of those things? Really just getting, you know, time to spin with my teammates. I think the uh, ring ceremony was something that was really cool. It was the first time that group had been back together since that night, really, um, you know, as a whole. Mm -hmm. And uh, guys have moved on to different teams and, you know, it looks a little bit different around here. We've added some new pieces, but to get that old group back together and, and um, celebrate, see the rings, do all that kind of stuff was was a fun time. I've never been prouder of a human being than when you stopped your speech and Southern Hospitality by Ludacris pops on. I was like, well done. <laughs> well done, Matthew. Yeah, I was having a good time. Um, that was an early morning start for me, but uh, it was a good one. Are you ever going to drink 1942 again? Yeah, I don't know. That's one of those you have to, it's a tough one to live down, to be honest. So they sent me a bunch of bottles and I was like, ah, not so right good. now. I need some time. <laughs> Now, where do we keep the ring? What do we do with it? Um, it's at my house. Mm -hmm. um, I'll figure out something mm -hmm. fun to do with it. Uh, it's, it's huge. Yeah. And so I don't really know where else to put it, but in, leave it in its box. I certainly can't wear it around and, and look uh, normal. So. <laughs> so as we uh, do start to look into this season and you're entering your 14th year, um, what's different about Matthew or what is exactly the same other than, you know, Super Bowl champion yeah. is now on your bio page? I mean, I feel like a lot is the same. I feel mm -hmm. like I still have, you know, in my mind, every time you step on the field, you got, you got to prove yourself. And um, you know, I think that's my attitude. That's our team's attitude. Just because we won the Super Bowl last year, we played this way or that way, doesn't mean we're going to go do it again. We got to go out there and earn those opportunities. And that's kind of how, um, you know, I go about my business. And I feel like what has made, you know, my career as long as it is, is feeling that same hunger every single year to go into it and, and prove people uh, either right or wrong. And um, I'm excited about it. Um, it's a fun opportunity. It's a new team. Every season, you know, we have a lot of same guys coming back, but there's some new faces, and every team is a new team. Um, you know, get to know the, the fabric of that team, what makes, you know, that team go, and, and be able to try and push that and, and see where we can take it. Do you have your thumb on what it is this year, like what that fabric is? Uh, not yet. You know, okay. I think um, you start playing games together. You mm -hmm. know, practices is, is um, you know, a great way to kind of Test each other and all that, but when you get in the in the foxhole on a Sunday and you gotta you gotta find a way to get a win, and that, I think that kind of naturally kind of comes to comes together on its own uh, on Sundays. Okay, so we talked about the things that are different about a team, but one of the most consistent things is Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup. <laughs> that seems to always work. Uh, what was it like? I even watched an interview back of you guys, and he's got his son June sitting with him, just to be able to share those moments together when yeah. you made so many big plays in such a big game. Yeah, it's. Um, it's a great relationship. Um, you know, it came came together quickly. You know, I mean, I was only only played one one year with him, but my job's easy when he's getting open, like he's getting open and and doing what he does for our team. He's such a special teammate, um, receiver, no question, but football player as well. Like just all the things that he does in the run game, um, just his mind. You know, throughout the week, the way he coaches the other guys on our on our offense and um, knows what it's supposed to be like. I think guys that are young on this team that get to come in and see him go to work and the way he does you know does it day in and day out that's a special thing for those guys to realize man we get to watch somebody that does it the right way and um it's fun to play with a guy like that yeah speaking of young how old are you now 34. Ooh, we getting old child yeah. <laughs> old. 
But with that comes aches and pains, and you've played through so many of them. Yeah. How do you consistently continue to prepare your body to play for every season? It gets tougher and tougher every year, but uh, it's a fun process. And, and uh, you know, sometimes you have, you know, tough moments and yeah. tough weeks, whatever it is. Um, but my biggest thing is I'm not the – I'm not – special for hurting everybody on our team is hurting in some way and uh, you know especially during the season finding a way to be out there on Sunday I think is such a huge thing at the quarterback position for a team so do everything I can to try and be out there I was able to do that last year I hope to do it again this year and for uh, a bunch of years you know down the road but uh, it's not uh, it's not always easy so have we overblown your elbow issue um <laughs> I don't know I don't, I don't really pay attention to who all is talking about what but um, all I know is I can go out there and function Okay. and play at a high level and, and do all the things that I want to do. Um, do I feel like I'm 21? No, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Now, when you run back out on the field in SoFi, you're taking on the bill, it's Thursday night game, you're kicking off the season, mm -hmm. coming off of a Super Bowl championship. Yep. What do you think it'll feel like when the, the lights hit your helmet? It'll be great. It's, it's such a great place to play. Um, it'll be fun. My brother-in-law actually coaches for the Bills, so oh, it'll be a little family affair. Yes. Try to, you know, have a little friendly wager maybe on the game. but. Uh, it's um, it's going to be exciting. You know, football will be back, and uh, what everybody's craving is some NFL football, and, and uh, we'll be able to give it to them. So let's talk about the Breakfast Club. Yep. How did it start? Um, really organically, to be honest with you. I, uh, I just showed up to work. I don't know if it was the first Monday of the season or whatever it was. Um, at the time, I'm used to going in and going, and um, you know, sure enough, Coop's right in there. We're pulling in, pulling in the parking lot just about the same time, and... and um, you know, from then on out, we ended up watching tape and eating breakfast together, you know, for a little bit of time before everybody else got in there. And, and uh, I think spending that time together probably showed up on the field in, in a lot of ways. Um, you know, just the trust that we had in each other, the way we saw it, um, the way we thought things were going to shake out in the game. You know, a lot of the time we spent in there kind of came to fruition on the field and, and uh, helped us be successful. What was the go-to breakfast meal? I mean, I'm like creature of habit, so during the season it's like... <laughs> Eggs, a little bit of bacon, some oatmeal, coop usually, a breakfast burrito, maybe two. I don't know. Um, but that's kind of that's how it went. Okay. I love that breakfast club. I won't yes. be joining because I'm a pancakes person, so I can't, I can't come to that one. That's right. Um, do me a favor. Look over your shoulder. Yes. Do you, do you see that Lombardi trophy back there? Oh, yeah. So we put it behind you because that's your pass. How do you get another one in the future? Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, you know, every year is going to be different. Um, I think the biggest thing is being able to navigate an NFL season and, um, you know, understand what what it's going to take to win games. Like I said earlier, every team is different. Um, you know, are we going to, you know, run the ball? Are we going to throw the ball? Are we going to, you know, sack the quarterback and turn it over? What's what's going to be our formula for helping us win games? Um, you know, and during this time and kind of early in the season is when you find that out and then you, you figure it out and you run with it. And uh, I think that's kind of what helped us out last year. And I think it's, you know, what's going to hopefully give us an opportunity to get another one of those. All right. Well, that's all I kind of had for you. Perfect. I I'm just gonna I'm gonna help clean yeah, right. all this confetti. We gotta go take it somewhere or something. I don't want to get in. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Do I throw it at the camera? <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Tarico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.